Unfortunately, I'm not caught up with Ms. Marvel. I watched the first episode, but then got busy and haven't been able to watch the rest of the episodes, so I'm not sure if this has been teased in the show already or if it's a straight up scoop for something that will happen in the show in the future or will be set up somewhere else. But one of the things many fans were confused and upset about was that Miss Marvel, at least initially, wasn't going to be an Inhuman. Now I said plenty of times that once the Inhumans were introduced and more people knew about them on Earth, then she'd be classified as one, but we'd probably have to wait until the Inhuman royal family was introduced first. And even though Anson Mount returned as Black Bolt and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Earth 838 is very different and way more advanced at least story-wise than our universe, with the Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Inhumans all being established teams and groups in that universe. But today, Sinistealth tweeted that the universe when humans will appear in the Marvels. These are the genetic experiments created by the Kree all over the galaxy, including Earth. And they include the Chameleons, Centurions, Badoon, and Dire Wraiths. Then Greatface followed up by posting a picture of the Inhuman Royal Court, or Universe One Human Court, which was a ruling council consisting of the rulers of the four colonies of non-human Inhumans that survived the Kree's purge of their Inhuman experiments. They traveled to the Earth's moon, where Earth's Inhumans lived, and the court's members became the brides of the Inhuman King Black Bolt. Now for those of you that didn't know, Inhumans were created by the Kree, and as it turns out, the Inhumans on Earth weren't the only ones they created, hence the royal court consisting of non-human members. Great Phase also later said that it will set up someone finding a royal family on the moon. Really, the only Inhuman on Earth is Kamala. Great way to keep the Inhumans a big cosmic thing and away from Earth which will eventually have the mutants whenever they're introduced. And this makes sense. The Inhumans are known to live on the moon. And since there's been confusion in the comics about whether Inhumans are mutants or not, this is the best way to keep them separate. While both Inhumans and mutants essentially begin as normal humans, just how they come into their metahuman abilities is different. With Inhumans, it all begins with Terrigen, a rare mineral. When exposed to water at the right temperature, they create Terrigen Mist. Inhaled by Inhumans on Earth, it activates their Inhuman genes and allows them to become metahumans in a process called Terrigenesis. Mutants have an X gene that develops naturally when they hit puberty, at least most of the time. Some mutants realize their powers from the moment they're born. So while Kamala Khan will be an Earthbound Inhuman, we do know that she'll eventually team up with Captain Marvel and Spectrum in the Marvels. And assuming that Great Phase is right, we could finally be introduced to the Inhuman royal family on the moon and set them up as a more cosmic team, which as well would help differentiate them from ABC's Inhuman show and would allow the X-Men to be more Earth focused. Now again, like I said, this doesn't mention anything about the Inhumans or the royal family being introduced in Miss Marvel, but I'm not caught up on the show yet, so I don't know if there have been any teases. What it does mention though, and seems more likely, is that the Marvels will at the very least begin setting them up, if not fully introducing them. But let me know what you guys think about all this. How excited are you to see the Inhuman royal family in the MCU? And what do you think of the Inhumans living on the moon and being a more cosmic team? Does it make sense with Miss Marvel joining Captain Marvel and Spectrum in Captain Marvel 2? Or should they all be on Earth? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you will never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember to wash your hands and stay safe.